And a lot of times guardian angels are deceased relatives or things that have gone on. And their job is they decide I want to take care of this person that they were close to and help with them after they've crossed over. The guardian angel takes care of you and is there to assist you. It cannot interfere, but is there to assist you. But most people think they're alone and they don't know if there are guardian angels that are assigned to you when you come in. And they can't interfere. So they said, if you don't ask us for assistance, we don't have anyone to assist. So they like it if you can talk to them and tell them what you want and they will take it and they will run with it. They will do miracles if they know what it is you want. But everyone has at least one guardian angel assigned to them when they come in. You can call it guide, guardian angel, whatever you want. But some people have more than one. It depends on how complicated their life is. You can have as many as four or more taking care of different parts of your life. But if your life changes, it goes in a different direction, some of these guardian angels will change place and another one comes in that has more expertise in what you're working on. But as a rule, you have at least one main one that stays with you your entire life. And angels are just, they call the messengers is what they really are. They are living on the other side and many of them have never wanted to incarnate into human form. They have no desire to. They like to stay over there and mind the store, take care of the things that are going on on earth. But they're just another being that is there. And they're real.